Hey everyone, it's Mike. Today I want to talk about A Whiter Shade of Pale. Whiter Shade of Pale is a song by a band called Procol Harum, and the organ player on this is Matthew Fisher. This is one of the most iconic organ tunes of all time. I'm going to play you the song through to about the first course, and if you like, you can go back and, and slow it down and, and learn it yourself. And then I'm going to break it down and explain how the song works bit by bit because there's some really important concepts in here that you can use in your playing. This is a whiter shade of pale. That is a whiter shade of pale. Now it's been many years since I learned that song for the first time, so I might have interpreted a few things in my own way. One thing I did do was I tried to simplify the bass line. The bass line actually kind of goes like... I just tried to simplify it so it's easier to see the chords and easier to play, but that's the main melody, and that's the first verse, and that's the first chorus. It's a progression that follows the C major scale all the way down. The C major scale, of course, is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It starts at the top of that scale. And literally, if you watch my left hand, it just follows the scale all the way down. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to kind of explain how this works from a harmonic perspective or from a chord perspective. So in the key of C, or in any key, we have seven chords that make up that key. And the chords in the key of C would be C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor, and B diminished. So this song uses a lot of these chords but what it does that's a little bit different than a lot of other songs is that it has a lot of slash chords. Now what a slash chord is, is if you were to play a C, usually we'd play this with a C root in the bass, but if I was to take a C and play it over an E, that would now become a C over E, which is a slash chord. This song has tons of slash chords in it, and it goes like this. I'm going to break down the progression slowly for you. The first chord is C. And it goes to a G over B, which is also called a 5 over 7 chord. It's a slash chord. Then we go to an A minor, or the 6 minor. The next chord is going to be a C over G, which is looks like that. And I'm using the second inversion of the C chord to, make, to get to the closest C chord that I can find. That's also called a 1 over 5. The next chord is a 4 chord, which is your F chord. The next chord is super cool. It's a 6 minor over 3, or an A minor over E. Another slash chord. And I'm doing that one in its second inversion of A minor, nice and close. 
next chord is a D minor, or the two minor chord. Then we're going to come to another slash chord. I'm going to do a four over one, or an F over C. I'm going to go back up to G, or a five chord. Then I'm going to go a seven diminished over four. That's also a B diminished over an F playing that B diminished in its second inversion. And for those of you that aren't familiar with diminished chords, it looks like this. It's a B diminished chord and its inversions. So I'm just going to back up a little bit. G major, B diminished over F, or 7 diminished over 4, and 3 minor, also known as an E minor chord slash chord here, a 5 over 2, or a G over D, and then it goes to C, or the 1, to F, or the 4, C, and then to the G, also known as the 5 chord. And that's the whole chord progression for A Whiter Shade of Pale.